Intel. India. Echo. Lima. Delta. Shield. Alright guys, we are back with another prediction video. This one, Curtis Axel versus The Miz. Honestly, what is up with WWE? What is up with the obsession of The Miz? The Miz isn't even that good. He's, like, he's low tier. If he was in a fighting game, like Injustice or something, he would be low tier. He's not even even popular anymore. I mean, he should just stay with Maurice and stay at home. That's what I'll be doing here if I had someone like Maurice. That chick is hot, dude. I'll be just staying at home. There is no way you're going to become W champion and have that success like you had when you was a heel. You, you just basically someone to get over, you know. And you're going to do that for Curtis Axel in this match. You're going to push him to make him look like a strong independent champion. That's what your entire job description is, Miz. Like WrestleMania and Extreme Rules, you was Mr. Pre Show. And now you're basically Mr. Pushover. That's what your thing is now. That's your resume, man. And I'm just being real and being honest with you right now. So that is my prediction. Uh, Curtis Axel will retain the Intercontinental Championship. It's kind of sad, though. Miss had such high potential, but he's. He is going downhill. He's when he comes out, I actually turn the TV. Like he gets so boring and so quick. It's like a miniature John Cena, if you will. Uh, so let's see if we can end this match right quickly. So, oh, if you hit that and we can see if you go down like that. One, two. Oh. oh okay. So you actually want to stand up and fight. Let's go. I can see Paul Heyman right now. Chain, let's go, Axel. That was a two count. You almost all oh, crap. I think the Miz is trying to tell me to shut up. He's like, dude, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. I get my job done. Okay. I feel like this is going to be a great match, though. Because if you look back at uh, Extreme Rules or Payback, what's it? I'm pretty sure it's Payback. Um, The Miz, Wade Barrett, were fighting for the Intercontinental title, Fondango was in it, Fondango got injured, and then they just placed Curtis Axel in there. So, what happened to Wade Barrett? He wasn't doing anything in the Intercontinental Championship. If you watched my previous video and I was talking about the Shield bringing power to the, the Tag Team Championship, that's basically what Wade Barrett was. He was just someone to hold on the title. And wasn't doing anything. I mean, the extreme rules. He was up there talking with Big Show and, and R Truth and those type of guys. He wasn't doing anything. He didn't have a single match. He, he you know, he wasn't good. So that's what WWE's finally doing now. They're finally giving credentials back to the championships. So Curtis Axel is the Intercontinental Champion. I believe he's going to go really far with it. He's going to make the title look good again. And it was a a very great memory of seeing that like that that moment when Curtis Axel won the Intercontinental Championship on Father's Day and he looked up to heaven or to the people who don't believe looked up to the sky you know and basically said thank you father you know this is for you so it was a very touching moment uh, I knew he was going to become Intercontinental Champion it was just in the works for him so that's basically what I'm talking here Miz is not going to win this. He, he's not. It's not. The, it's not in the cards for him no more. He lost his popularity. Uh, ever since he lost Alex Raleigh on his side, you know, he hasn't really done much anything big. So that's two WrestleManias, two years, and you're basically a low card. So they need to turn you back to heel or something. Cause right now you suck. Um. But yeah, like I'm saying, they bring power back to the titles. So I'm looking for Curtis Axel to win this, and in my next video I will tell you what's going to happen to Wade Barrett. Where does Wade Barrett go from here? Now that he has lost his Intercontinental Championship and he's not in a rematch, so there we go. Curtis Axel is going to win this match, ladies and gentlemen. If you agree with me, please leave a like. Thank you.